Hi, this is Keith. I'm a Pathways Ambassador in Italy, District 59. Have you signed up for Pathways yet? We've been live since March the 20th. It's a great new program and hopefully you have. If not, here are some notes to help you understand what Pathways is and how to access it immediately. So we're going to talk about a quick introduction to Pathways. I'm going to talk about how to select your first path, starting your first project, and then completing projects and levels. On another video, I'm going to talk about evaluations, the mentor program, the DCP and the DTM qualifications. So Pathways is our new education program. If you remember our traditional program, at the top of the screen, you can see the CC manual. Every new Toastmaster takes the competent communicator manual. And then after 10 speeches, they get a chance to choose from one of 15 advanced manuals. In fact, two advanced manuals. One of the big programs changes under Pathways is you choose your path at the beginning. So as a new Toastmaster, you will be choosing one of 10 paths immediately. So it's a, a lot more tailored for new members that so you can choose immediately the path that you want as opposed to doing all the comp competent communicator manual. Uh, whether you're an experienced speaker or not. That's one of the main differences. One of the other main differences is how we prepare a program. At the moment, your only preparation for your speech is basically to res read this competent communicator manual. Then you deliver your speech in your Toastmasters Club meeting, and then you get written and verbal feedback. That's the process at the moment for doing a speech in Toastmasters. Under the Pathways program, the preparation is a lot more in-depth. Not only is there a manual to read, but there are self-assessments to do, videos to watch, and some checklists and models to help you prepare your speech. You deliver your speech as normal. In fact, the agenda in a Toastmasters meeting will be exactly the same under Pathways as it will with the traditional program. You'll still have your timer, your R counter, your Toastmaster of the day, your speeches and your evaluations. So the meeting itself doesn't actually change. What changes is the preparation. We've got a lot more things on preparation. But also in feedback, not only is there still the written and verbal feedback, but you can also earn badges, get feedback from uh, other participants at the meeting and in your club. And there's also a self-assessment to do at the end of the program at the end of each project uh, that helps you to reflect on what you've learned during the project itself. Of course, one of the other major differences between the traditional program and the Pathways program is the Pathways pro pro program is available online. And in fact, around 99% of members taking up Pathways are doing it online. Although there are some print versions available for five of the 10 programs. Here are the 10 paths that you can choose from. Dynamic leadership, effective coaching, innovative planning, leadership development, motivational strategies, persuasive influence, presentation mastery, which is probably the closest you've got to a competent communicator manual, uh, strategic relationships, team collaboration, and visionary communication. So you can see there's a lot more selection that you've got straight up front as soon as you become a Toastmaster member. You can work on planning or leadership development or more traditional presentations if you wish. Each path has five levels. So in the traditional system, we have the competent communicator, then advanced communicator bronze, advanced communicator silver, and finally advanced communicator gold. Well, in the 
pathways system, each path has five levels. So you become level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Within level one, level one is essentially the same for all of the ten levels, all of the ten paths. It starts with an icebreaker. The next project is evaluation and feedback, which has two projects, two projects, two speeches to do. So the idea with evaluation and feedback is you give one speech, you get feedback, and then essentially you deliver the same speech, but better. So you deliver the same speech twice. And if you think about it, that's what a lot of professional speakers do. They don't deliver different speeches every time. They deliver essentially the same speech, but they work on it and improve it and try and make the same speech better. And finally, the third project under level one, which will be the fourth presentation, is about researching and presenting. So level one is quite similar to our competent communicator level. Within level two to five, there are some projects that are required. So you can see in level two, there are two required projects plus the introduction to Toastmasters mentoring. With level three to five, there are elective projects. So in total, there are 59 projects available. For level three, there is one that is required, and that's a different one for each path that you choose. And then there are a minimum of two elective projects. So you get to choose. Not only do you choose your path, but you also get to choose some of your projects during your path. At level four, there's one required project and one elective project. At level five, again, one required project, one elective project. And then at the end of the path, at level five is the end of the path, there is a reflect on your path project. Again, thinking about what did I learn during this path? To become a distinguished Toastmaster, you need to be doing two paths. Two paths from level one to level five. Which will mean you repeat level one twice, you will repeat your icebreaker twice. But that's okay, because your second icebreaker can be a lot more improved. If you've already done a competent communicator, well, your new icebreaker, it can have a structure. You can use visual aids. You'd be using your voice, your body language, maybe a bit of research for your project. And why not? It could be uh, even influencing and persuasive. So you can bring in all of you that you've learned from your competent communicator manual and incorporate it into your icebreaker. And similarly, after you've done one path, you can bring in everything that you've learned in your previous path for a new icebreaker. So the icebreaker repeating it is a good thing, for, if you ask me. So that's the introduction to pathways. How do you get started? How do you actually select a path? Well, the first thing you need to do is log in to Toastmasters.org. You do that with your username or your member number and your password. I use my membership number. I believe you can also use an email address, the email address that's logged with Toastmasters.org. So you log in to Toastmasters.org as normal. And you'll see on the new menu, there is Pathways as a select option. Under Pathways, take, choose Go to Basecamp. And with Basecamp, you can see there is another login screen. So there are actually two systems on Toastmasters.org. There's the Basecamp, uh, there's the... Um, Toastmasters.org Club Central system, and there's the Basecamp Pathways system. So to log in to Pathways, you also need to log in as a member. Let me uh, just show you that here at the bottom in the center. Log in as a member. Click on that button, 
and you go through on the first occasion, you'll see Choose Your Path. And you have two options. On the left, we have Basecamp Online, and the figure of $20, well, it is actually free for your first path. Paths thereafter will cost $20, unless you're a dual member, in which case you can get two paths for free. If you'd like printed materials, if you prefer to see uh, ink and paper, then the cost is $45 or $25 if you're actually a member already. Like I said, most people, 99% of people are choosing Basecamp online uh, and the first Basecamp is free. This is actually cheaper than the current traditional system because with the traditional system, you will need to pay for not only your $20 joining fee, but you also need to pay for your advanced manuals. And advanced manuals cost, uh, I think it's $8 a piece. So you'll need to do four of those, that's $32. In this case, two uh, paths will only cost you uh, an additional $20. So click on Select Basecamp at the bottom. Uh, oh, for dual members, in order to select or to maintain your second path free, you'll need to send an email to supplyorders at toastmasters.org. And that they will give you instructions on how you can get your second um, path for free. If you're a member of three clubs, unfortunately you can only have two paths free. So clicking on uh, the select base camp, for the first time we get assessments. There is an online assessment to help you choose which path you're going to take. Click on the start button at the bottom of the screen and you'll be taken through a series of about 25 questions asking you about your objectives for being a member of Toastmasters and at the end the pathway system will recommend one as the best match and two as some close alternatives. If you click at the bottom where it says additional paths, you will also see the other seven available options for the, for the paths. The assessment gives you a, a recommendation, but the choice is yours. The choice is always yours as which path you can, uh, you can choose. There's also a written instructions or a description of each path, which will also help you give you a second guess on to which path is the best. Also, if you search www.toastmasters.org, you'll see descriptions of all of the 10 paths, uh, and you can have a look at those before you do your assessment and get an idea of which path is gonna be best for you. So that was choosing your path. How about starting a project after you have a path? So a little bit of language. You have a path, which is from level one to five. You have a level, we can have level one, two, three, four, or five. And then with each level, there are projects. There are three or four projects that we saw earlier. So to get on, we need to go in, log in as a member. Now at this point, you can see on my screen, I also have login as a Basecamp manager. As a VP of Education, I will be one of the three Basecamp managers that your club has. The Basecamp managers will be the president of the club, the vice president of education, and the secretary. If you're not one of those, you won't have the login as a Basecamp manager there. Also on the left-hand side, you can see as a Basecamp manager, I could log in as another member. What this is for is if there are members that don't have access to computers, uh, the Basecamp managers can help those or they can order printed materials for them. So let's log in as a member and we'll see the home screen uh, of the pathways. 
and you can see five icons at the bottom. Navigating base, base Camp. This gives you advice on what to do and how to navigate through uh, the system. My Education Transcript. This is where we access pathways and choose our projects. My Feedback, where I can give feedback to others as well as um, see my own. My Badges, well, that's something that's new with, feed, with Pathways. People can give you badges for doing a good job in, in a speech or performing a particular project well. And the speech evaluations, uh, that's for your speech evaluations as well. So let's go through my education transcript. And you'll see here motivational strategies. This is the path that has been chosen. There's also the option of the navigator. The navigator is a, a help manual. So if you're looking for how to do things, launch the navigator uh, and that will give you some advice. In order to uh, choose to select my path, I need to go to Open Curriculum, click on that, and here within my level, I can see here I'm looking at a project of innovative planning. You can see the three projects available, the Icebreaker project, the Evaluation and Feedback project, the Research and Presenting project, and at the end of the the level, there's also another project for level completion. I'll come back to that on a minute, in a minute. To access the project, I click on the Activate next to uh, the project. You'll notice Activate is only uh, available here against the icebreaker. You need to complete the icebreaker in order to enable the activation of the evaluation and feedback project. So you need to complete the icebreaker and you, the projects in order. So let's click on activate and launch. And you'll see this interactive screen for the icebreaker. As I mentioned before, there are videos, there are self-assessments, there are some models um, which will help you prepare your speech once you've prepared your speech, then we need to come back into Pathways and complete the project. So completing the project, what do we need to do? First, the member reviews the project online and you prepare your speech. That's what I mentioned. There's the videos, the self-assessments, um, the manual to read etc. that's on there. Then you need to give the speech. After your Toastmasters meeting, you then need to come back into Pathways, reopen the project, and complete the Assess Skills After tab. Let me show you where you'll find that. So you'll go back into the project in Basecamp, and here at the bottom, you can see Select Move to Another Section. If you click on this, you'll see there's an option, assess your skills after. Click on that. It will take you through the self-assessment again. So you do the self-assessment in your preparation for the project. And then you do the self-assessment again at the end of the project to understand what's changed, how you've improved by doing this project. There are numbers, you just click on the number you wish, and you can see that the number changes color. When you've completed a project, no approval is needed. You can go straight on to your next project uh, and obviously talk to your Vice President of Education to schedule your next speech. But there's no other approval needed within Basecamp, within Basecamp Pathways Basecamp for that. When you complete a level, so when you've completed the three or four projects within the level, then you do need authorization. First of all, you need to run the level completion task. So there's a project completion task to complete after each project. 
and after each level there's a level completion task to perform. This is the project at the end at the bottom of the page where the, um, the path is shown. So we have the path, motivational strategies, level, in this case level one. This person has completed the icebreaker, the evaluation and feedback and the research and presenting. You can see the tick marks beside those. So what's left to do is activate the level one completion for motivational strategies uh, and that will put you to 100% on level one. Once you've done that, you mark it complete. That should send a message to your base camp managers. But my recommendation is that you also notify your vice president of education to say, hey, I've completed my level. Can you go into base camp and approve it? Because you won't be able to go to the next level until your base camp manager has approved the projects. So, base camp managers, you need to mark the member's level as approved, of course, if they've done their speeches, and now the member can proceed to the next level. But this is within the Pathways system. The Pathways system and Club Central are different. The Pathways system and um, Club Central are different. So the base camp managers first have to log into base camp and approve the level. Then they need to go back into Club Central, www.toastmasters.org, to recognize within Club Central the level has been committed, completed, and then that will show up on the distinguished club program figures. So to reiterate, the Pathways Base Camp is separate from Club Central on www.toastmasters.org. Within the Pathways Base Camp, we have five levels. Within each level, you have two to four projects. You can finish each project. That's autonomous for the user. But once you finish your path, you need your base camp manager to approve the level and the base camp manager will be either your president or your secretary or your vice president of education. When you complete your level, the base camp manager needs to approve your level within base camp and also record it on the right hand side within Club Central. So, that's essentially what we've talked about today. Our introduction to pathways, getting pa started and selecting a path, starting your first project and completing your projects and your levels. I'll come back with another video talking about evaluations, the mentor program and the distinguished club program as well as the distinguished Toastmaster program. Thank you.